Hola, good people. This is your man DJ Wolf D coming at you with another Akai MPC software tutorial. And this is a very, very important tutorial. I'm crazy overdue uh, with this. Uh, many people have been asking me about this for a while, and I, <laughs> I just never got around to doing it. So I'm taking care of it now, all right? In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Explode Tracks feature. And I could run through this crazy fast and just show you in like two minutes the main three steps uh, that, uh, of what I'm doing is basically three main steps, but I know there are many people who are not going to know what the hell I'm doing. So I'm going to explain this in detail so that everyone has a com full and complete understanding of what's going on. All right. Uh, once again, very, very important feature that Akai added because uh, it allows you to export all of your individual pads to their own tracks within the MPC software. And then you can export each individual track as a separate audio file. So that's important for everybody who wants to import those audio files into their DAWs because you will now be able to have all of your samples from your pads as individual audio files. They won't be stacked together like they were initially when the MPC software first came out. When it first came out, the only option that we had was this. Go up to File, click Export as audio mix down separate programs was the only option that we initially had render a separate audio file for each program that was fine for our plugins because any plugins that we have like you see i have a plugin on track two three four five uh fender rose uh, electric piano a grand piano a synth lead some strings yeah, it would bounce those out as separate individual audio files that was great but it was horrible for our drum program because our drum program consisted of all the samples that we had spread across all of our pads. It would just bounce this entire drum program out as a stereo audio file, which means all of your sounds were stacked together. You couldn't separate them. So if you want to do a real deal mix down in your DAW, your kick wants to be on its own track. Your snare wants to be on its own track. Your Close hi hat, your open hi hat wants to be on its own track, uh, you know, and the list goes on and on. So you don't want to stack that stuff together. So they finally came up with this explode tracks feature so that we can easily, because they very much so made it very easy, just three main basic steps. They made it very easy to finally separate all of the pads so that you can uh, export those babies out to their own audio tracks. All right, so let me show you what I'm working with so far. I have uh, four different sequences that I created. Um, and those four sequences, I already have them in song mode. So it's, my entire song is already laced up. Uh, it's 80 beats per minute. Uh, it's 80 bars long total. And it's about four minutes long. Four minutes, four minutes, and one second long. All right. So my song is made up of these four individual sequences. Um, I have five tracks that I'm using right now. Track one is my drum program, which is just these three sounds right here. I don't have anything else across these six, these uh, other pads here. Just a kick drum, a snare, and a wood block. African percussion, all right? Track two is a Fender Rhodes electric piano. Track three is a grand piano. Track four is a synth lead. And track five are some strings, all right? So that's everything right there. Uh, so let's get into step one. Step one is you converting your entire song to an individual sequence, to one individual sequence. That's what this button is here for, convert to sequence. So it will take your entire song, which is made up of obviously all four of my sequences, sequence one, sequence two, sequence three, sequence four, you know, having them repeating all that stuff and stretching them out to be four minutes long into the format that I want for my song. It'll take all that and just convert it all into one sequence that you will see appear right here once we're done. So I'm just gonna rename this right now. I'll just call it the same name as this whole big file. May 2015 track. All right, click the convert to sequence button and the default setting is that it will just grab the very next unused sequence, uh, which in this case is five, but obviously you have the ability to, you know, put it wherever you want it. I'll just keep it at five. And underneath that, it has this drop down menu, track status, include muted tracks or ignore muted tracks. I don't even have any muted tr tracks, so I'm not concerned with that at all in any way shape or form so just click do it 
And as you can see right here, it just created a brand new sequence from song. So let me go back to the main screen, go into my sequence drop down, and you can see right there, sequence five is now uh, the entire song. All 80 bars of it is now one big sequence. So that was step one. Convert your entire song into a single sequence. All right. Um, step two. All right. I told you this is going to be simple. Step two is to explode your drum track. All right. That's going to take each individual pad and give each pad its own track so it'll have its own separate individual track instead of everything being grouped together under you know one track as a whole it'll separate every single pad that you have and of course i only have sounds on three pads so i'm about to create three brand new tracks that's what's about to take place so the important thing for you to remember remember this you need to be on your drum track when you do this all right, don't be on like a plug-in track or something like that. You need to physically be on the drum track. You need to have it physically selected, all right? I have my drum track selected. So that's the key thing to remember before you explode the tracks, all right? Uh, now, I'm going to switch to the uh, channel mixer here, give you the track view. So you can see all my tracks are here, all my programs are here. We want to focus on the tracks. So track one is my original drum track. It has all three of those samples from the pads coming through. All right. What is about to happen is it's about to create three brand new tracks for because I have sounds on three pads that I'm using, and it's going to automatically mute out this original drum track. All right. So very simple. We go to edit. We go down the track and we click explode. So watch what happens on the screen. Bam, it just created three new tracks from the three pads that I'm using. And it automatically muted out my original drum track because we don't need it anymore. Now when I hit play, my kick is coming through here on its own track. My snare is coming through here on its own track. And my wood block my African percussion is coming through here on its own track so once again we no longer need our original drum track I can still you know play stuff out I just hit the solo button on it but we of course don't need it anymore because we have these babies separated now that's it that was step number two there's only one more step and actually I'll show you this right now uh, quickly as well uh, regarding the three pads that I'm using that has sounds samples on them. I that that drum program um, I have a reverb on it, so you can hear the reverb. Let me take it off so you can really hear. See now you hear it's completely dry. And I also have a reverb on the actual track for the wood block, the African percussion wood block. A lot of extra reverb on this. Take that off. Now you can hear it's dry. I wanted to show you that just to let you know that when you bounce these tracks out, you know, when you uh, bounce them out to your brand new individual separated audio files, they will retain any effects that you have, you know, running through any of these channels. Uh, the program, the individual. Uh, channels for the pads, any effects that you have on there, it will keep them and they will still be there. So you don't have to worry about losing any of your, your effects. So if you got compression, reverb, delay, flange, whatever, they will still be there as a part of your individual audio files when we're done. All right. And it's time for our final step. We are about to explode all of our tracks. All right. All of our tracks right here. Tracks. Well, it's going to bounce out track one also but it's muted so <laughs> that's literally going to be a silent track uh track one track two track three track four track five all the way through eight the fender rose the grand piano the synth lead the strings our kick drum our snare drum and our african percussion wood block so very simple we go up to file we go to export we go to as audio mix down 
and we're no longer having to mess around with this separate programs thing anymore. We're going to click explode tracks. You see what it says right there. Render a separate audio file for each track. That's exactly what we want to do. Select your file format. If you're going to change the bit depth or sample rate, you can do that, of course. Then click export. I'm going to just dump all this stuff right on my desktop. All right. So let's choose desktop. And I'm going to create a folder for it to put it all in. May 2015 track. I'll just call it that same thing. Now, for each track that it rips out as an audio file, the name that it currently has, like Rhodes Piano, you know, track two, Rhodes, track three, Piano, it's going to add those titles along to this track, uh, uh, to this file name that I have right here. And it's going to start doing them one at a time as I hit save. So let's go. Click save. The first thing is exporting is track one, the drums that are muted out. So since they're muted out, I'm actually exporting a silent track right now. That's going to be just a garbage track that we're going to throw away. Track two, our first actual audio file that will have sound, the electric piano, the Fender Rhodes piano. It's bouncing that out right now to its own individual audio file. Track three, this is our grand piano. So it's exporting that track out to its own individual audio file. And you can probably hear my computer starting to kick the fan in because this takes some processing here. So <laughs> hopefully all your computer specs are, you know, up and where they need to be. But right now it's exporting track four, my synth lead, exporting that out as an individual audio file. And of course, you can see this kind of, you know, this takes this takes a minute. It's not like a boom, bam, pow thing. It, it takes a minute for the MPC software to export each uh, track out. So track five, my strings. It's exporting my strings out to its own individual audio file. Now, the last three files, I mean tracks that we created, it's now exporting the kick drum, which was pad A01, all on its own audio file. It's now exporting track seven, which was my snare drum, which was on pad A02, exporting that out as its own individual audio file. And finally, um, track eight, which was pad five, pad A05, which was my African percussion wood block. It's exporting that out as its own individual audio file. And that is it. That's the end of the three steps. Let's close that out. Let's open up the brand new folder that it created for us, May 2015 track. Uh, I'm going to expand this window out. So you can see all eight of our tracks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The very first track was our original drum program, which was muted out. So this is the track that I told you is going to be silent. There's nothing there because we muted that track out because we didn't need it anymore. All right, because it created our brand new separate audio files for the kick drum the snare and the wood block all right so we don't even need this anymore that's just trash all right track two this is our uh fender Rhodes electric piano all on its own track all right track three is our grand piano which just comes in and out throughout the song Right. Track four was our synth lead, which also just comes in and out throughout the song. Alright, track five, our strings. They also come in and out throughout the song. Our final three audio files. Our kick drum now is on its own audio track. All right, so perfect for importing into a DAW. The kick is on its own track, on its own audio uh, file, I should say. Our snare drum, its own audio file. Ready to be imported into your DAW and our final uh, sample from our final pad, our African percussion wood block on its own audio file. And you can hear the reverb is still on all of those samples from the pads. The reverb is still there. That is it. That's it. 
So those three steps, that's how you use the good old NPC Explode Track feature. It's your man Wolf D signing out. Peace.